Okay, so I'm back to do the, put the bottom on. I actually, I glued, I glued the top on to the base. And I also glued the bottom piece on so it would be dry so we could actually do this. I didn't want to didn't want to have to stop again. Hopefully this will be the last video. So I glued my piece on and I took pulled all my drawers out. Use I use these little binder clips for um, lots of stuff when I'm building things to hold things in place, etc. So I got the bottom on and I went ahead and I did one because I wanted to show you. This is what it will look like when we're done. See how there's this is this I put a piece across here and I put a piece across the bottom and they it will stop it will keep it from making it look like this. Okay. So and if I would have put a piece here you still would have seen all of this mess and you'd have seen this down here. So what I do is I take and I put one strip across here. Let me see if I can come down a little bit closer on this. Okay. So I put a piece, I put a strip across the top up here. And then I lay this over and you can see where you're, where you need to snip so that your drawer will go in. So I just put my scissors down there and I snip it. And then I kind of push it in to make sure it's, it's going to go in okay. And then I take a little tiny V, angle this just a little tiny bit. So that'll go in there. And then I angled this just a little tiny bit. So everything will fold in and lay down smoothly. And of course this side is already angled. So then once I have that V cut out of there, then I take and I peel off my tape. I put this down. That secures that. And then this comes under here and wraps around here and creates that to look nice as well. So see now you have this nice section that is just looks good versus this. So we'll do it on this one. Again, I'm going to take one of these strips and I'm going to put it right on the edge of the chipboard right here. Okay, so there's that. That's on there. Go ahead and pull it down and burnish it in place so that it's there. I'm going to get in the camera better. There we go. Get this out of there before I stop my camera. I'm going to lay this down with my fingers. I'm going to go in here and I'm going to snip it. And then just kind of push this down to make sure that it lays okay. Trim your a little bit of an angle on each piece. A little bit there. And a little bit there. Then go ahead and pull off the tape backing. Bring this down. Burnish this down real good. Then this here, you're going to push underneath. You're going to burnish this here. And then you're going to burnish this piece inside here too as well. And there you have it. it. Again, it covers it. It just makes it a full, so you don't see any of this stuff in here. Let me get, let's see. That's not a drawer. Okay. So again, we got one more to do here. And then we're going to do the bottom. So we're going to peel this off. And we're going to put this in here, right along the edge of the chipboard. Go ahead and burnish that down. Lay this down, snip it with your scissors. And your scissors, when they go in, it'll tip the top of the, the top of your drawer, your casing, so it's it's good. You won't be cutting it too deep. Well, I guess if you lift up the piece, you could. You could cut it too deep. But I always just put it into where my to where my scissors hit the top of the drawer, and then I know it's good. Okay, so pull that out. Peel this off. Go ahead and put this side down first. And then take this and fold this underneath with your fingers. Burnish the top. Burnish under here. And you're good to go. 
Now we're going to do this on the bottom here. So when I do the bottom, I need to kind of set it on its so it angles up. So you can see there. Whoops, still isn't going to stay. So I'm going to take a piece of the another strip of the stuff. And I am going to put it right along the edge. Oops, I did that a little bit crooked. Okay. So there we are along the edge on the bottom. And you can actually do this. You could actually go ahead and put all four of these on at one time. Okay, so we have all four pieces on now, and they all, all but one, this side is already done. So they all stick loose. And I'm going to turn it to face me this way, so I can pretty much do the same thing. I'm going to lay this down, and then I'm going to snip in here, angle this side, angle this side. Pull the tape off, the backing off, and go ahead and stick this side down. And then go ahead and push that under there. Turn this one. Do the same thing. Put your scissors right up against the top. Okay. Pull that out. Go ahead and bend this down so that it you train it before you take the tape off, the paper off. And then once you get those that way, then you're gonna peel off the tape, the paper. Again. And you'll see how nice, I mean, it just makes it look finished. See how it looks finished? So I'm going to put a drawer in it. There we go. And when you put a drawer in it, it just looks nice. And then this one. Side, one more side over here left. So I'm going to push this up. Cut this at an angle. Go ahead and train this piece to go under. Okay, well that works too. Okay, so I'm going to push this down. And then I'm going to push this under here. Okay, then there's the last drawer. Now you have your, your complete tool caddy.
I know I keep I call it a tool spinner because I have a turntable under mine. Debbie says you can go into is it either Lowe's or Home Depot and they have um, metal spinners that you can buy to put on the bottom of it. But you have a completed project. You can cover this if you wish. But there's your completed tool caddy. Oh, I take that back. These are not on there. But I really don't want to put these on because I want, you know, it needs to be papered first. So these you could actually take and you can attach these. I can attach it with a clippy. So that'll go there. And this one will go over here. And then this one here will go over here. And then this one here will go over here. And see these leaves? They leave all your drawers open. So your drawers are all open to go. But there's a cat, there's a place to, for, on each side to put something in. Like I said, pencils, bone folders, paint brushes, um, just anything that'll fit in there. And like I said, your scissors will fit down in there. So you could have, and I get two pair of scissors in one of those. I put in these, this pair and this pair. Let me see if I can move this to where you can see that it does fit. Okay, so you can put this pair. Oh, he can't because it's thinking this thing's on the way. But anyway, this pair will go in there and so will this pair. Two pair of scissors will go down inside there. When it's up here. So that keeps two pair of scissors out of the way for you. Anyway, that is your that is your tool holder. It's very it's a very good design. Debbie did an awesome job when she designed it. I'm so glad. I'm glad she shared it with us. I'm glad she agreed to let me do a video for you folks so you can see how it's how it comes out. Anyway, good luck.